Yeah. Oh, so guess what? We'll have to so, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, we've got, we've got, we've, hopefully this won't be a very long meeting so we can all enjoy the sun and do all the other awesome things everyone wants to do. But, uh, we had, do, do we have this guest who wanted to make some opening remarks? Uh, that'd be awesome. So, um, we're just going to start it out with like a couple opening remarks and then I'm going to go over the like basic agenda that we set up uh, and then we'll get talking. So please come on up. All right, great. Hi, I'm Cenk of the Young Turks. And great, thank you. Uh, great to see you all here. I'm so excited that there's so many of you coming out and ready for the fight, which I love. Um, and I can relate to you guys. Some of you, if you went to NYU, I was this close to going to NYU, <laughs> undergrad and law school. If some of you are from Columbia, I made that mistake. <laughs> um, and I, I, you know, are the name of our shows the Young Turks. I obviously believe in the young generation of this country, and I think we can fight back against the problems that we have. And I just want to quickly lay out the problems and hopefully enlist your help in solving them. Uh, I think the number one problem we have in the country is that we have a broken system. Our uh, government is corrupt. It, our politicians are bought. Uh, it's not that they're bad people, it's that they, we've set up the wrong system. So everybody knows that you work for the guy who signs your paychecks. And unfortunately for our politicians, the people who sign their paychecks are the corporate donors. And corporations are not bad. We've got iPhones, we've got all these uh, things that we use from corporations. Everybody gets that. But they are amoral. They have no morality. They have no soul. They do, and they should not have inalienable rights endowed by their creator. We are their creator. And so, I think that it is imperative to every single issue that we all care about. And it doesn't really matter if you're liberal, libertarian, or conservative. If you care about an issue and you care about our democracy, we don't have that democracy anymore. We're not having an honest debate. Instead, what decides is always the money. Wherever the money goes, that is the side that the politicians go on. So how do we fight back against that? We've been thinking about that on our show for years now, and we've come to a conclusion. Our only solution is an amendment to the United States Constitution to go above the Supreme Court and say, we've got to take corporate money out of politics. So the amendment that we are proposing is corporations are not human beings and do not have any of the constitutional rights of human beings. They do not have the right to speech and they cannot buy our politicians. And we should publicly finance all elections so that we sign their paychecks so they could work for us instead of working for Lockheed Martin, Exxon Mobil, GE, etc. And we've set up a website to help do this and the main thing we're looking for, we're not interested in petitions and theories and mock uh, etc this and that what we're interested in is actually getting it done so our website is wolf-pack.com it is an actual super pack and the job of the super pack is to fight for this amendment on a state-by-state -state basis and to get it passed to call for a constitutional conventions at those state levels so that we can actually get the amendment passed and free our democracy, bring back our democracy, so we can have those debates, so we can settle it, and fight back against those corporate machines that have totally taken over the government. If you want to help, the main thing we're looking for is not money, although that would be great. What we need is volunteers to lead that fight, whether it's occupying a state, or whether it's you're a technical computer programmer, or legal, etc. We need help in all those areas. So if you want to help, we'd love to have you. Thank you so much for hearing me out. All right. So let's start the student assembly. Yeah. Okay, so the idea for this uh, is a space for all the students of New York to come together and just figure out what we are as a movement, uh, how we can become a movement, and how we can work together in our struggles. So, I'm just going to go over the meeting structure that we have planned. If people have problems with it, I don't know, I'm sorry. Uh, 
we wanted to do report backs to start out. I mean, come on, we got a short amount of time, right? We, we want to do report backs to start out. If you are a student activist, if you're doing some work with your school or your campus, tell us about it, because that's what we're here to hear and understand what's going on. So we're going to start out with report backs. Then, we want to spend a bulk of the time in working groups so we can actually have conversations with one another. So we're going to do a brief period where people are going to propose working groups, right? If you have an idea, like I want to have a conversation about something with other people here, tell us, and then we're going to break up and you're going to have those conversations. We're going to have those conversations, right? We're going to do that for a while. Then we're going to come back and everybody's going to tell us how awesome their conversations were and what amazing things came out of these conversations. We're going to do that for a little bit. And then we're going to have some general announcements and just see what else needs to be put on the table. And then we're going to go and uh, enjoy the rest of our sunny afternoon. So that's the plan. Is that all right with people? Okay. So let's start. With, oh, and timing-wise, try and keep your you know comments terse. I don't know. Uh, report backs. Who's got one? I, I have someone from Columbia. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait. What? Yeah. Okay. Nicole's gonna keep stats. So come to me if you wanna. If you wanna talk, report just back. get her eye. Come on. Up. Hi, thank you. I'm Yoni from Columbia, and uh, last night was our first general assembly. We had 75 people there, uh, PhD students, undergrads, a couple community members, and uh, it was it was just beautiful. People sharing their stories. Um, a really popular word was bullshit. You know, what is this bullshit? <laughs> And, and people are getting fired up, and we're going to have another one on Tuesday at Barnard, right across the street. Um, basically, at Columbia, we're, we also want to connect, you know, with the other schools, um, because we're kind of far away. And so please, like, come talk with me if you want to do stuff together. Um, and also, we want to, you know, we want to connect with the Sotheby's workers and other labor, because the, the chairman of the board at Sotheby's actually is a professor at Columbia. So, um... We're just really excited, and I guess that's about it. I mean, yeah. That's great. Perfect. Uh, Brooklyn College? Hey, uh, Viola from Brooklyn College. Yeah, we last Thursday we had our own little GA. It was, it was cute. The administrators had like a... Had a, what is it? They brought like cops and um, uh, uh, what do you call it? A, a fire truck. They thought we were because we like had our flyer busy occupied the occupied space. But no, yeah, we're just like forming uh, uh, groups, just trying to like get together with other students to like uh, deal with like concrete issues, like lack of like lack of printing, lack of um, being able to afford to go to school, uh, lack of a lot of things because CUNY as a whole and SUNY as a whole are being uh, ridiculously defunded. Um, yeah, and our we got a website, it's called takebackbrooklyn.wordpress.com. If y'all, if you know any other uh, Brooklyn College students that we know, let them get in touch with us through the website and stuff. Um, yeah. Thanks. We had a pretty successful assembly. We ended up breaking down into committees. Um, one important committee is um, an outreach to other CUNY campuses committee. And we like to build a real, legitimate, CUNY-wide um, General Assembly within the next couple weeks. Uh, we talked about having a week of action uh, before November 21st. Um, there's a Board of Trustees vote to pass uh, something called a five-year plan, where tuition will be raised uh, every year for the next five years. Um, that wasn't voted on, but we're going to decide on like what action we'll be organizing towards next Friday at another Hunter General Assembly. Um, yeah, and just Hunter students appreciate other CUNY campuses coming through to get involved and we just want to continue like networking and building with all of y'all. Um, yeah. We're glad to be here at the All Students Assembly. Of people and like different CUNY colleges, campuses that are interested in participating in a student CUNY-wide organization, I mean uh, GA. And so that way, like, we can all meet, and then, like, the ideas will have, like, information to, like, give back to the other campuses to get more people involved. So that way, like, you won't go to your school empty-handed, and you'll have something that you can, like, give to people and things like that. So come see me if you guys are interested in, like, the bikini wine. It's open to everyone. Everyone's more than welcome to. Workbacks. I have the hacks there. I need to go Okay, I'm Lee. I'm from NYU. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, the People's University. 
The People's University, which we're inaugurating today at 2 p.m. Uh, Rick Wolf, an economist, is going to be here as well as Frank Morales. And we're going to be talking about the economic crisis, housing, and causes and responses in New York City. And we also have events all throughout the week. So if any of you need a flyer, <laughs> come get one. Um, let's see, on Monday, Steve Frazier and Stephanie Luce, or is that, I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name, but that's, uh, she's going to be here at 12 o'clock. Uh, on Wednesday, uh, Christine Harrington at 6, 6 p.m. And then on Thursday, we have an affiliated film screening, The Inconvenient Truth, about waiting for Superman at 7 p.m., and that's at the Silver Center. Um, and then Saturday, uh, we're going to have a talk, a uh, public university talk on public space and gentrification with Neil Smith. Um, so we encourage everyone to come, and if you have any questions or need a flyer, come find me. Um, Great, thanks. Is there someone from the New School? Do we have a New School report back? Okay. Hey everybody, uh, Chris from the New School. Right now we're doing a teach-in all day at the New School, 66 West 12th and 65 West 11th. Um, there's a whole bunch of speakers <laughs> that started about 9 this morning and will be going till about 8 this evening. It's open to the public. You don't have to be a new school student to go. Uh, talking about all the same issues we've been addressing here. It will also have some of the Nomadic University has been working with education and outreach later. So we're also doing our Friday GAs on campus. If you want to know more, there's some new schoolers here that can give you more information. But also, everyone's welcome to come to the new school, 12th Street, 66 West 12th. The rest of the day today, see me. I've got a copy of the schedule as well. Great. Mika, Mika, you, you to, we have a second report back from the new school. Okay. Um, I'm just really loud. I have a small voice. Um, I'm from the new school, and uh, it's not particularly new school related, but there's a very important march today against police brutality. And I think everyone who can should try to go there because, as you know, We've had a lot of aggression and brutality uh, we've received from the police just when we're trying to peacefully protest. So I think this is a very important march. I have some posters, some flyers that I'll pass out. Um, I know it's in conflict with this meeting, but I think it's really, really important to go. I have one more report back from Delaware, and then we're going to start breaking up into working groups. So if you have a proposal for a working group, come see me now. Also, she didn't say when and where. When and where? It's at 2 p.m. at Union Square. Now, also, will be a group of us here who will be going. There's supposed to be a march that starts between 2:30 and 3, so a group of us will be going for the march after the the rally. People want to stay around. We'll be heading up there. Hi, everyone. I'm Jim. I'm up from the University of Delaware, uh, the world capital of corporations pretending to be people. Um, all of our students hope to get jobs at Sally Mae and B of A and all these awful places. And there's a real culture of silence down there. But people are starting to ask questions, people are starting to want to get involved. So I'm up here to talk to people, uh, to hopefully get some concrete ideas that I can take back down to Delaware so that we can have uh, some sort of presence of our own uh, to talk especially about the new Jim Crow and the institutional racism that's happening in Delaware. It's not getting talked about. So uh, anyone with anything, I'm more than open and I'm here to take notes so okay great so we're going to move to the next part of the meeting we want to get broke we want to start having conversations and getting to the working groups so what's going to happen is if you have an idea for a working group you're going to raise your hand you're going to tell us in like one minute literally one minute what your working group idea is and then you're going to be somewhere so we can tell everybody that's where you're going to be so that other people can go talk to you okay so let's start with one you, nicole's got I one. Have one go for it stand up <laughs> Um, so the idea has been floating around at CUNY to do, um, put out a call for a student week of action, whether it's a, a week of students going on strike leading up to November 21st, which is the Board of Trustees meeting. Um, we've been floating the idea around to other schools and it's been really well received. So I want to have a working group to talk about what we could imagine this week of action to look like. Um, and yeah, that's okay. it. So, so, look, watch, Nicole's going over to that lamppost, and when you want to talk with Nicole and be in that working group, you will join her at that lamppost right there. What's next? Who's got a working group? Okay, here you go. Come on. All right. 
All right, well, we need to get on outreach. Um, we need to find a way for each individual school to stay on the same page. Um, Occupy Philadelphia has a really good website. Louder. Louder. Occupy Philadelphia has a really good website that has a chat thing at the bottom. <laughs> so um, it'd be cool if we could find a way for anyone. Working, what's the working group? The working group is for outreach. Okay. Um, so <laughs> meet me behind here. Okay. Working. What's your name? Bobby. Bobby is going to be right here in this little weird circle that looks like it should have a tree in well, it. Yeah. Bobby is going to be in the circle instead, and you're going to come talk with him <laughs> in that circle. <laughs> it's going to be a close. <laughs> there it is. Okay, who's next? Who's got a working group? Come. I'm Alex. I think what's kind of awesome about this group is that it, it brings students together from all around the city, all around the area. So I think that we should talk about what unites us as students. The idea being eventually to write some sort of uh, proclamation of unity, not necessarily demands, just sort of what brings us together. And I'm going to meet at the westernmost point of that fountain. You which is should, west, which is east? Uh, that's West. So you're going to be so right, right over here. Like right over there. Okay. What's your name? Alex. Alex. It's going to be right over there. The western part of the fountain. A proclamation of student unity. Talk with him. Go ahead. Okay. Um, Come up here so you can yell at everybody. Okay. Um. Loud, loud, loud. Okay. Yeah, I will. Um. <laughs> I want to start a, like. I want to start a working group in which we, like, a group of people come together and, like, try to assemble this CUNY-wide assembly. Okay. I'll be there. Oh, wait, 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 what's your name? Emma. Emma. Emma, how about over there on those benches? Okay, I'll be Emma's going to be over there on those benches, yeah. and Emma wants to have a working group to talk about make, giving some structure to NYU, or to New York student assemblies in general. That's the sense, right? No, no, no. no. no? CUNY. CUNY, sorry. Yeah, CUNY yeah, student yeah. assemblies. So. Uh, That's where she's going to talk. Wait, and I, I forgot to announce, after these working groups, we are coming back because everybody else wants to know what you talked about in your working group, so don't go away after the working groups. Who's got another one? Anybody else? Anybody? Okay, come, come, come. I don't have a working group, but just uh, if people are interested in you know helping to plan these student assemblies uh, in the future, We've been meeting on Thursday nights, uh, and if you're not already on the email list, uh, you can just come up to me and we can get your email. We try to get representatives from as many schools as possible so that we can continue these, make them bigger and better in the future. So I just wanted to announce that. He broke the rules. That was an announcement, not a working group, but it's okay. Do you have a working group? I do. Come, come, come. <laughs> Has anyone already proposed a direct action working group? Yes. Yeah, I mean, Where? there's this week Over of direct the, action. So, okay. Nicole, that lamppost is totally direct action okay. Never all mind. the time. <laughs> is there any other working groups? We've got three or four. Or are these two Are these two separate? Okay, it looks like we have four working groups. Are there any others? Okay, so let's do it. Everybody, make these conversations great. Outreach. How about outreach? All right. Let's do it. Bobby. All right. Um, we're making a Facebook page for all of us to stay on the same page. Um, because there's a lot of a lot of us are using Google Groups and just ends up being spamming, and just we have a hunt like I have a hundred and something emails. I don't know where the hell that came from. Um, so just a way for us to make sure that all of our organizing, all of our planning is in one place where we can all um, get back to. Um, we're trying to emphasize flyering and not just cyberspace outreach, but being in people's faces in a nice way, um, emphasizing, incorporating a lot of people's voices um, so we're not just preaching to them, we're asking people what they want, what they'd like to do. Um, uh, oh, also, we're trying to get a Google Doc of various assignments that people can find to do. So, for example, uh, the Occupy Wall Street Journal needs to be spread. If you live, you know, in the west side, between these ten streets, you can go pick up copies and just hand them out to people. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, like, everyone here, just tell as many people as possible to come here Saturdays because we need a lot more people here. Do you guys have questions? Where did she go? Is there a flyer? Yeah. It was a flyer, but it would be a cooler flyer. Okay. She has a flyer. <laughs> we need. So okay. So the things that the things that our group talked about are 
we need to make flyers so we can distribute flyers. We want to have we want to have a way for people to plug in so that there's like a structure of like these are places you could go flyer, right? Yeah. And we want to have this Facebook page to keep people up to date. Yep. And oh, so do you have a question? What is the Facebook address going to be so people can go find it? We don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Send it out in the, the, the Google email. Yeah, we'll send it out. It's also an all student wiki page. It's a that is made, but it's already made. Okay. So there's an all student wiki page that already exists that's not being used. The other thing we talked about is potentially just helping distribute the Occupied Wall Street Journal because the next issue is all posters, but because there's no text in it, maybe coming up with some flyer or piece of writing that could be we could put in as like a student insert and distribute the com the combination like a student insert with this like all poster issue of the, the Wall Street Occupied Journal thing. So that was another idea that we floated. Uh, if people are interested in helping us figure out the outreach stuff, who's got that email list? Dan. Somebody. Anybody? Dan has it. Where's Dan? Yeah, where are you? Here's the Facebook. All right. Oh, okay, right there. Oh, this is so disorganized. Uh, man, outreach has got problems, right? We're not getting an outreach to you guys. Dan, do you have this email list? Don't read it. Sorry. I'm, uh, I got injured during the outreach meeting. Uh, all right. Okay, I don't understand. Yeah, 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 we have a Twitter, NYC University GA. Great. Trend okay. it. And talk to Dan if you want to do stuff with this outreach biz. Go ahead. I don't know as much as you guys. However, I know that eye to eye, face to face, really makes a difference. I really know, besides Twitter and besides all the other stuff, that's all great. Yeah. If each individual that has an influence can get anybody he can to their high school or to their community, it will make a bigger difference than or will make a difference rather than just sending stuff out because it's not, it's not about the people. And you're channeling it. It's not about. I was just I was walking through arguing Perfect, on the phone man. and I hung up because I was watching you guys. Awesome. All I'm gonna say is right. energy is energy. If we bring even if it's a hundred people here and ten people go to each school. I know that I would have listened if I was in school, Word. and I would encourage it if I was. I'm not a college student, so pardon me. Right. No, you know man. What I'm saying I never took an elective. Uh, none of that stuff. Last thing. The last <laughs> thing I was gonna say is right to this guy's point. What we talked about at the outreach is one way to frame the student movement is for us to be students of this city, right? And to learn from the people in this city and to listen, to be out there. And so that was one thing we thought about as a way to frame what a student movement could be, like a movement out of school, right? right. And into the city. Okay, that's our group. Announce that Twitter. Yeah. Announce that Twitter. Oh, okay, all right. Again. Who's up? Again, again. again. NYC University GA. Twitter it. Tweet it. Yeah. Everybody tweet. Let's go. Really okay, Nicole. I'm a little sick, so I'm going to be really quick. It's official. Um, the 14th to the 21st, there's been a call for our student week of action. So, um, there's a lot of organizing that needs to happen between now and then, but people are already talking and doing it, and so we just need to do some more, and one of the bigger goals is to get more people here at the assembly next week, next Saturday, and also to start working at your individual universities and like make a flyer like and make this official like the 14th through the 21st it's a student week and weekend and monday of action um which allows for a lot of possibility uh, i don't know if i'm missing anything from our working group okay, the 17th is an international day of action which falls within that week so Word. Okay. Any, are there any points of clarification for this working group Okay, we have one more working group. All right. So I was from the student unity group. Ready? All right. And I think, just to say real quick, one thing in terms of student unity means coming out to support each other in our various actions. So this 14th to 21st, I think we should get behind, and that's part of student uni unity. But one, a couple of things we talked about, we talked about a lot, so I'm going to try and bullet point it. Uh, one big thing, debt. Obviously, student debt unites people across sort of all different kinds of educational institutions. Another problem is jobs and unemployment. We can't pay off that debt when we get out of school. Uh, our universities, especially, are, are corporatizing. 
taking land and they're sort of using our money for things that we don't have any say in and that's another issue. It's student democracy. We don't have a voice in our own universities which are ostensibly here to serve us in the community. Uh, the community which we're tied to in terms of being students of the city. Um, hang on. I got more. Uh, yeah, and then the last thing is, you know, the, the idea that education should be a right and not a privilege, and that we need to support that, and that's sort of what can bring us together, 14th to 27th. Okay. Is, are, do you guys have an ongoing conversation, working group? Is there an email list? Yes. An ongoing conversation? There's an email list. Who's got it? I got it. Where is it? It's in my pocket. Okay. You have to be in his pocket. I can take Your it out of my pocket later. Your email needs to be in that pocket if you want to be part of this conversation about we'll a declaration. Be, but we'll be back after the next GA okay. next week. So find us. Okay, Excellent. Awesome. So now we're moving into announcement phase. This is the period of time when we announce things. Hopefully these announcements will be relatively short, right on, and uh, everybody will be so excited to hear you talk. So. We're going to go like two minutes or so, and there's going to be a speaker's list if we need it. Who wants to start this off with a kick-ass announcement? Anybody? Okay. okay. Um, a few minutes after this session, the inaugural session of the People's University is going to take place. We're going to have Frank Morales, who's an organizing to stop foreclosures in New York City. Rick Wolf, who is an economist, who will talk about the financial crisis and possibly others. We're going to start a few minutes after this. Please stick around. It's going to be incredible. There'll be room for dialogue, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Great. That's awesome. Oh, also, the website for the People's University, which is happening here repeatedly, is peoplesu.tumblr.com. Do not confuse this with the University of the People, which is an uncredited, ridiculous corporate monstrosity, <laughs> except that it's also like a paper tiger. So it's kind of like a corporate paper, tiger, peoplesu.tumblr.com for the real People's University in Washington Square Park. Right. Wait, Great. I have a question. What okay, and there are flyers. Do you have any, do you have any information about um, tomorrow, about Judith Butler? Tomorrow, Judith Butler is supposed to come and speak here at 6 p.m. She was invited by the Washington Square Park General Assembly, some of whose members are over there. We're promoting it. Judith Butler, right here, 6 p.m. tomorrow. Great. Okay. More announcements. Are there announcements? Does anybody have announcements? Hi, everybody. I'd like to use the people's mic. I'd like to use the people's mic. Hi. Hi. My name's Sean. My name's Sean. I'm a member. I'm a member of the Washington Square Park General Assembly. Of the Washington Square Park General Assembly. We hold meetings. We hold meetings every day. Every day. Today, Today, we're hosting a meeting, we're hosting a meeting at 5.30. At 5.30. We've got a process, we've got a process that, we use that we use to make sure, to make sure everyone's, voice is heard. everyone's voice is heard. The people's mic is one of them. The people's mic is one of them. You can come, you can come to General Assembly. To General Assembly. Voice any concerns that you have. Voice any concerns that you have. To join a working group. To join a working group. To get involved with some of the issues. To get involved with some of the issues. That are important to you. That are important to you. To also hear others' voices. To also hear others' voices. That you might not have heard about. That you might not have heard about. And meet people. And meet people. Who might care about stuff you care about. Who might care about stuff you care about. Tomorrow, tomorrow, Judith Butler, Judith Butler is speaking at six o'clock. Is speaking at six o'clock. General Assembly, General Assembly is at seven o'clock. Is at seven o'clock. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. We're on Twitter. We're on Twitter. Occupy WSP. Occupy WSP. That's it. That's Woo. great. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Keep the mic rules. All right. More announcements. Who's got more announcements? Please come. You can tell. You can use the people's mic or not. Okay, we're gonna try and talk loud enough so you all can listen loud enough. Where do you want the people's mic? All right. All right, we're gonna do the people's mic. Mic check. Mic check. Go for it. The New School University. The New School University. Has an open program today. Has an open program today. Until 8 p.m. Until 8 p.m. That 
is open to the public. That is open to the public. That is focused on Occupy Wall Street. That is focused on Occupy Wall Street. I have an agenda here. I have an agenda here. And I will leave it up here for you to reference. And I will leave it up here for you to reference. Thanks. Great. All right. More announcements. Who's got announcements? Please. Um, there's going to be a CUNY working group after uh, this disperses. Um, we'll just be talking about CUNY actions. Maybe meet over here. There's going to be a CUNY working group vaguely over here. So if you're vaguely interested, that's where you go. Please. Yeah, I'm facilitating one of the workshops at the new school at Lane Cafe, which is just over there on 11th Street, uh, closer to 6th, between 5th and 6th. And it's at 3 o'clock, and we're talking about what kind of social movement we want to create at Occupy Wall Street. So uh, please come by. Great. Okay, are there more announcements? Does anybody want to announce something? No one wants to announce anything. Well, that's awesome, because that means the meeting's over. But first, oh, wait, 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 no, okay. We had a great meeting. This was awesome. And you guys are all going to come back next week. Because this meeting's happening every week. And so much else is going to happen. We're going to have so much fun. And somebody else is going to facilitate it, because I just did my facilitation. No. But uh, thank you all for being here, and thanks for making this rule. Bye. Anybody can get on the